Uh, 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 where's my game? All right. All right, all right. All right. Welcome, villains of the internet, to Evil Stories with UMD. Um, that's me. And, uh, I'm a professional yapper. I, uh, I thought it'd be fun to start up a little podcast and yap, uh, and tell some stories in my life. That involve either, you know, people who would be considered evil or ill-intentioned, you know, villains. So, uh, you know, or maybe I want to tell a story that just involves evil doings. Shit that's happening in the real world, you know, evil shit. Um, the premise is yapping, basically, and seeing if I can fill an hour. So, anyways, without further ado, I was, uh, I was at work the other day, and, uh, I was stocking the shelves, that's my job, I stock the shelves, and this fucking guy comes up to me, right, and he's like, uh, I don't know. Maybe in his, like, mid to late 30s, white guy, blue collar shirt. Um, he's clean, clean looking, haircut, got this watch on, um, and I'm like, okay, this guy, you know, he looks like he's doing good. I'm stuck at the shelves and he starts talking to me about fucking... Uh, my job. He asked me if I like my job or not. And I'm like, yeah, I like my job. Pays my bills. That's all I can ask. Maybe a little more. A fucking raise wouldn't be so bad. I'm gonna smack my boss. Uh, and he starts kind of chatting me up and eventually explains to me a story. He like said he knew this couple that by the time they reached uh, 30, they started having their own instant cash flow. That was his verbiage. That was what he said, right? Uh, you know, this is in the middle of a fucking grocery aisle. He just walks right up to me and starts talking about this shit, right? And... So I indulge, I ask, I'm like, well, what's, what are they doing? You know, how are they making, how are they making money? How much money are they making? And he like gives me like a not answer, which kind of pissed me off, gives me a not answer and then says, oh, well, uh, it's interesting. Why are you, why are you interested? Why, are, why are you wondering about this? And I was just like. What do you mean? You we you want me to explain why I asked my question to the context of the thing you brought up like 20 seconds ago? The couple. How what do you mean? And it was very awkward and I and, and then this guy walks through. This guy walks through. He's like a maga guy, like a maga conservative guy. He's got the hat on, the cool red cap, uh and the fucking gun. He's got a gun on his hip, you know, and he's walking through and then this, this, this guy who in my head, I'm like, he's trying to pull a a scam on me, a Ponzi of some, some sort, right? He just makes this off comment to this guy, to the MAGA guy. He goes, uh, oh dang, look at this guy with the gun on his hip. What are you going to go shoot some villains today? And I'm like, just... Like, I hear that behind me, and I'm stuck in the shelf, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? 
Um, and so, you know, it was awkward. And then the guy, like, I don't know, he pisses off. The MAGA guy pisses off. And then this Ponzi guy is, he tries to talk to me again. He's like, why are you interested? And I was just like, I'm not interested anymore. I don't know why I'm still talking to you. I'm going to go back to work. That's just what I said. And then that's what I did. Uh, I was just like, you're wasting my time. I don't even, I, I tried to ask you about whatever the fuck you were trying to get me into. You couldn't explain. You explained horribly. It pissed me off. Bye. Bye bye. I'm not wasting my time. Uh, so I piss off and so I'm stuck in more shelves, right? I'm still in the store and this, I see this guy, he's walking around and he's, yeah, and he's chatting up other people and I see him, he's chatting up one of the store, another store worker, <clears throat> right? And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to see what he says to this kid. So I see them talking and then eventually he, he Ponzi guy pisses off. And I go up to the to worker guy and I'm like, hey, what was that? What was that guy? Or di I asked him, I go, did you talk? Did you just talk to somebody in like a like a blue collar shirt, like a polo almost? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay. Um, what did he say? What did y'all talk about? And he said he talked about how he was gonna try and get him a position at the place that he works at, and to give him his information, he would be in contact. And I was like, what do you? What does that mean? He goes, oh, I gave him my phone number. And I was like, dude, what? You gave that guy your phone number? You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does someone explain to you not a position, but is offering a position? Doesn't explain, right? I told then I I broke it down to the kid. This, this other this other worker, he might have been like fucking oh man, I don't know. He might have been around the same age as me, I want to say. You know, and uh I explain my story and then I tell him I'm like, "You uh <laughs> Yeah, if you get anything from that guy, <laughs> any texts or any calls, just go ahead fucking block that shit <laughs> oh fuck man people are fucking evil like really evil and they need to be publicly shamed uh it is mandatory if you are caught in the middle if if you are caught talking about a, uh, trying to get someone into a Ponzi scheme, crypto, or anything like, anything as such, uh, we have to douse you in oil and put feathers on you and make you cluck like a chicken, and then we set you on fire. No. <laughs> nah, JK, you get to live, I guess. Um... Just stop scamming people, you fucking evil bastards. Uh, but, that also being said, I did get scammed one time. Uh, I was a bit younger at this point. I was a bit younger. And I was 19, I believe. I was 19 years old. And I was working for this landscape company. Uh, I got scammed out of 200 bucks. I got scammed out of 200 but I was making good money at the time, uh, so it wasn't a total, total loss. Um, but, so I'm working at this landscape job, and we stop at a gas station. And uh, I'm putting gas in the truck or something, and these guys, there's two guys, two dudes. Um... They're probably, they're probably also in their 30s to some degree. Uh, and they're parked by, they're parked uh, just like off to the side of the, of the, of the pumps. And they fucking, 
they come up to me and they ask, uh, hey, are you looking to get some speakers? And I was like, I mean, yeah, I'm in the market. I'm in the market for some speakers, you know? So I fucking... <sighs> okay, sorry, sorry. I'm collecting my thoughts, collecting my thoughts. Still, this is my first time. This is my first time I'm a virgin podcaster, okay? I'm basically a virgin podcaster. So just, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. Speakers. So these guys are trying to sell me some speakers. And they bring me to their car. And they're like, you know... Uh, Here's some speakers. Here's some cool speakers. They were like, I don't know. They kind of look like Sony-esque speakers. I couldn't remember the brand name, the logo, or anything like that. But they look roughly like, you know, just high-quality speakers. And he's got like fucking like 20 of them in these boxes. And I'm fucking, I'm looking at this and I'm like, kind of like damn like you got a lot of speakers bro but i'm not really putting it together that like it's an odd number of speakers to have i don't know so he he asks me this weird question he goes uh how much are you willing to pay for these speakers because he was like i think he first pitched it for like 600 bucks and i was like i don't have the money for that i do not have 600 bucks to just blow on speakers right now and he was and then that's when he asked he was like what's the lowest you go and i said uh probably like 200 at the max and he was like uh all right we could do that and i was like really and he was like yeah and i was like okay went in the gas station went to the atm got the money and uh i get my speaker system and i'm like sick got a speaker system i go home i go home to try and use it and fucking i gotta stop doing that <laughs> i gotta stop saying uh and fucking i gotta stop i gotta stop uh sorry uh i got i get home i try to use it right and what do i do i plug it in you know i'm putting it together i'm trying and then i go and i go into spotify and i put on the song nothing nothing's playing i'm like okay you know, maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe there's just something I did. So I go back and I'm trying to reconfigure, check the wires, everything's right. Nothing works. So I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and I end up like looking up online to try and see like uh, an instruction manual or something. Because the manual it came with just... I don't even remember if it had one. Um, and so I, what do I do? I fucking, I'm trying to like, I get pissed. Cause I'm just like, what the fuck? He just, I just bought a busted speaker system. Right. So I'm like, shit. So I end up trying to sell it and I put it up on like eBay. I believe I'm trying to sell it on eBay and and I get like an email from eBay of them saying, uh, excuse me, sir, you can't sell fake shit. You can't sell fake shit on eBay. This is a faulty product or whatever. And I was just like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Because I wasn't able, like, when it came to the, like, when you go to sell something on eBay, right? They want, like, as much information about the product that you're selling. And so, you know, I'm trying to... You put in for, like, speaker systems, and they'll ask... They'll give you, like, a tab, and, like, here are... Uh, main, like, just... Uh, main fucking brands. Like Sony. Just main brands to choose from, right? And... I couldn't find the name for the the box I was selling and I was just like what the fuck so I just ended up like putting in a custom thing or some shit and then yeah and then I get this e email from eBay and they're like that's fake you can't sell that 
So I got scammed out of 200 fucking bucks. And I couldn't even, like, resell the, the thing. I had to, like, just literally throw it away. It was an unusable... And, and then... And then I think at some point I ended up like reading some like Reddit threads and people were talking about how the product, yeah, it's like doesn't have like a serial number and it's just like other people were posting pictures of, of similar boxes that they got and people commenting being like, that's not a legitimate brand. That's like something someone just made for cheap to sell for like whatever large a lot large amounts of money and they did that and they fucking scammed me they took 200 fucking bucks from me and god damn that fucking sucked um let's see let me look at my notes real quick what else what else do i got here um Still got some time to kill. I could talk about what are some other evil fucking things. Some other evil stories. That scam happened back in 2019, just before the pandemic. Uh, and when I was in the middle of the pandemic, uh, I was living with my girlfriend at the time, and uh, some fucking person still don't really know who but some person uh decided to make a fake tinder account of myself and pretend to be me and was talking to people and uh it was kind of freaky you know it was just like what the fuck is wrong with people like you have to be a special type of weird to want it like I don't know uh so what happens I uh I'm playing video games I'm chilling girlfriend comes up and she's like what what the fuck is this and shows me your phone and it's a picture of a tinder account with my name and pictures of me and I was just like that's funny I was like ha 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 <laughs> I like laughed at it cuz I was like that's dumb why would I have a tinder I have a girlfriend uh but she thought I had an account and was cheating on her of course that's how healthy relationships are just seeing something and immediately just immediately jumping to a conclusion. We we love we love people. We love tox talk we love toxic relationships. They're the best. Truly evil shit. Uh <laughs> she was. She was an evil bitch. She was fucking stupid. Fuck her. Uh So I'm gaming. She shows me this shit and I'm like, that's dumb. She thinks it's real. I go through all like my Google accounts on Tinder to prove I am not logged. In. That's not an account that I can log into. I don't own it. Someone made it, right? Um. So lo and behold, we find out that someone made this goddamn account, and what do we do? We had one of her friends uh, use their Tinder account to match with my account and talk to them and see who they are uh so i had like a whole bunch of dms from them you know and basically uh it was a there was a big speculation that it was this old friend that i had that i had a falling out with um he was like a fucking guy that i used to like make rap music with and it was really fucking, we were just some of the cringiest fucking guys just making shit art. And <laughs> I still rap because I think it's fun, but 
what we were making at the time was just absolute fucking dog shit, like NF, what, like NF, Eminem, sad boy, f- f- just shitty fucking music, just shitty, shitty white guy rap music, just really shitty, like, girl broke up with me, or I hate women, just bullshit, just stupid shit. And we had a falling out. I I don't know. He just like stopped hitting me up one day, and I don't know why. Uh, that also being said, I was chronically online and would just cyberbully and talk shit and make shit posts. And I was a pretty cringy online guy in high school and after for, for a little bit. It took me it took me a while to get out of that. Um. And so I'm like, it's got to be him. I'm like, it's got to be this fucking dork that's doing this for whatever fuck ass reason. So this kid, he, uh, he was like into photography or some shit and he's got his own little photography business. Um, so he's got like a Facebook page for his photography business and this stupid shit decided to use make his actual phone number uh, the number for his business. His personal cell is his like business cell. So I call it and I'm just like, hey man. And I don't know, we haven't talked maybe in like, I don't know, like a fucking, uh, maybe a year, maybe a couple months. I don't really remember at that time. So uh, we'll see about a year. And I'm just like, what's up, man? It's John. It's, it's John. Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, man, hey, what's up? And I'm like, you fucking making a Tinder of me, bro? Like, because <laughs> I found out. So I, I accuse this guy and I and I go right to him and I and I accuse him because I, I had the evidence. I had the evidence. Uh, the account said... The person who made the account, I, like, I was basically talking to them, and I asked them, like, why me, like, why are they, you know, making this Tinder of, of me, and, like, oh, shit, excuse me, I just belched right in my fucking mouth, bruh, uh, asks me. Wait, what am I saying? I asked the account why they're making one of me and, um, or of John, and the account says, oh, I used to make rap music with them back in the day. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, there's only like five people I've ever made music with, like collaborated with, and like half of them I'm still friends with, and there was only one other guy and it was this fucking guy that I had like a bad falling out with. So I was like, okay, well it's pretty fucking obvious. It's you dude. Who the fuck else would it be? So I try to confront him and he's, he just completely plays dumb. I don't know what you're talking about to the point that he gaslights all of our friends on Facebook by making this video talking about whoever's making this video who are no, whoever's making this video he's like he makes a video and he goes whoever made the tinder account of john uh stop it like knock it off uh because apparently he's accusing me of doing it and it's fucking stupid and i was just like okay this is fucking retarded this is just dumb and I don't know. I kept texting him and I was just like, I'm pretty sure it's fucking you, dude. And he kept, he had nothing to really, he just had poor defense. And, uh, that was, uh, that was pretty much the end of it. Uh, so I thought, right. And then like, I don't know, maybe like two months later, uh, I pretty much completely forgot about it. I'm over at a homie's house and I think his, his girlfriend was 
is friends with an ex of mine on Facebook and saw that she had made a post being like, uh, you know, just got fucking pregnant again. Ha ha. Cause she's fucking stupid and keeps having kids. <laughs> Seriously. I don't fucking, I dated the dumbest women. Seriously. The dumbest women. Um, but that's just because I have bad taste in, in, in women, you know, that's, a, there's, there's, it's some of my fault too. <laughs> um, but goddamn, we're, I dated some dumb bitches. Holy shit. Holy shit. Did I date dumb bitches? Holy shit. Um, it's okay. I'm dumb too. Um, but they're also evil. I'm not that evil. They're eviler. Eviler? Uh, sidetrack, sidetrack. So, this, my ex makes a post saying, like, I'm pregnant and posts an ultraviolet picture. U ultraviolet? <laughs> Is that the word? An ultrasound? <laughs> an ultraviolet sound? <laughs> oh, shit. I decided to smoke before this. I don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> Uh, post this fucking picture, and the only person she tags is the guy, is the guy I was talking about, who I think made the Tinder account. So my theory, it's not confirmed, it's not 100% full, like, like, I don't know, but in my world, in my mind's eye, uh, this fucking loser... Did, just hated me for whatever reason so much he made a tinder account for me to impress one of my exes to get with them and got her pregnant that's my theory uh i don't fucking i didn't uh fucking get any updates after that from my homie's girl i didn't really care to i was just i was just like that that's just in my, I'm like, and, and, that's the end of the story, that's how it ends, and that's fucking hilarious, because uh, he's a fucking idiot, and so is she, and they're both f dumb as hell, and, uh, <laughs> uh, man, uh, shit's awesome, I fucking just, you know, uh, I could, I have so many stories of me just being around dumb people. So many dumb fucking people. Um, let me see here. You know who else is dumb? I, I have dumb, you know, you, you, we in this life, we meet dumb people. But sometimes we also have to face facts um, or face, we sometimes have to face the fact that some of our family members are also fucking dumb. And I have some pretty fucking dumb family members. Um, mainly on my father's side. Uh, I have an aunt, uh, who's not my aunt, actually, but she was my aunt because, you know, sometimes... Like if, you know, sometimes your parents have friends and they become your aunt or your uncle. It just happens. It's like that. You know, if I have kids someday, I know my homie Chris, my homie Sean, Evan, fucking whoever. They're going to be, um, you know, my kid's going to have some uncles. My kid's going to have some funny uncles. Um, some pretty funny fucking looking uncles too. Y'all are ugly as hell. Just kidding. Just fucking kidding. Um, my kid's gonna be ten times uglier. And that way, and that, then that's okay. And that's okay. Um, because I'm gonna adopt a kid. I'm gonna adopt the ugliest one. Because that's no real parent. They, they only adopt the pretty ones, and that's fucked up. You should only adopt ugly kids. That's my stance. I don't know. Why am I talking about this? What the fuck was that? Oh. 
God damn, sorry, I got ADD, so I'm just fucking, I'm really trying. I don't know if podcasts are for me. This might be the only fucking podcast I do. <laughs> also, maybe next time I won't play a video game, we'll see. I just thought this, I don't know, I thought it'd be a good idea, but maybe it's not. But we have dumb family members sometimes, and sometimes they're the ones that are your parents' friends. So I have an aunt. And she is fucking, as, like I said, dumb. I'm on Facebook, whatever. It's always on Facebook. It's always fucking going down on Facebook. Uh, but it's 2020. The, uh, fucking Black Lives Matter is going down. Just after all, all the white folks were screaming about uh, COVID lockdowns and not being able to have their haircuts and how it's basically slavery again, but just for whites, it's just for the whites this time. Um, and it's government mandated, baby. That's why I'm in favor of big government because that means white slavery comes. And once you achieve white slavery, you, that's the, that's actually how, that's the, uh, Last phase of capitalism, I believe. I believe it's white slavery. So, I'm hyped. I'm excited. Um, what the fuck am I talking about? I have a dumbass aunt, dude. I have a dumbass aunt. Who's on Facebook yapping. Just like me. Uh, who's yapping about, you know, it's going down. Um, Derek Chauvin and... George Floyd happens, and my aunt's on Facebook being like, Derek Chauvin, glug, 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 just sucking off this pig, this little <laughs> fucking pig who deserves death. I'm just being real. Deserves death. Not jail, death, sorry. I'm not, I'm really against the government having the ability to kill us legally. I'm not for that. That's, that doesn't make sense. That's dumb in my opinion. But man, does that guy deserve to fucking die. <laughs> like, of all people, him the most. <laughs> like, goddamn, fuck that guy. Um... And my aunt's sucking them off and I'm, you know, responding back and forth on, on Facebook in the comments. And I eventually I'm like, okay, fuck you. You're not my aunt anymore. You're just not my aunt. I don't know you. That's weird. You're fucking weird, bro. That is weirdo shit to hear about a cop killing somebody and then like praising his efforts or I don't know. Fucking, it is weird to praise cops. It's just my humble opinion. Sorry. This channel is not very Blue Lives Matter. And uh, feel free to comment below. Uh, feel free to comment below how you feel about that. I will uh, be sure to reply. And maybe, you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you some money. Um, Because I actually want to fund the police. <laughs> and I do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I don't have 120 orbs. This is bullshit. What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, getting worked up. <laughs> it's supposed to be a chill time, and I'm just popping off right now. Um, it's just who I am. Sometimes I pop the fuck off. This podcast sucks. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it. This sucks. This is ass. I need, I need someone else. I need someone else here to be like, John, shut, shut the fuck up. What are you even talking about right now? Uh. It's hard not to talk about, I don't know. It's just hard not to talk about Derek, Derek Chauvin and not talk about how cops are absolutely fucking useless. What the fuck are the point of cops? They're dumb. I don't, I don't believe a single talking point. I don't believe not one. There's not one. Um, so that's where I'm at, and that's why I hate my aunt, uh, cause she is just so fucking like that. Pretty sure she's some fucking Midwest swamp ass, southern fucking dumbass 
Dumbass fucking bitch. That is what she is. She's a dumbass fucking bitch. And, uh... Oh, okay. Here's another point of the story. <laughs> goddamn. I'm just fucking yapping. That's the point. That's the point. That's the goddamn point is for me to yap. There's no, there's no point. There's no uh, rules to this. I talk how I want. So, okay, so this is the second part. So she, I disowned my aunt. I'm like, fuck this fucking lady. And <laughs> it, uh, she's friends with my dad, right? And uh, he kind of, I don't know, saw what went down, but also is not, I don't know. He's not really one for confrontation, I feel like. Uh, I don't know. And, uh, you know, I approached it and I was just like, Hey, just want to let you know, I don't like aunt, my aunt K. I'm going to say her name. I don't like my aunt K anymore. I think she's weird. I think she has weirdo takes. Uh, I think she needs fucking help. <laughs> she needs education. Uh, and I fucking, I don't like her anymore. And I just kind of dropped it like that on him. And... Uh, I don't think he took it too well, but fucking womp womp. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, you got a weirdo friend. Uh, I don't know what my fucking dad's views on all that shit are, and I probably don't give a fuck to know. I'm probably dumb as shit. Um, uneducated, as most fucking dads are. <laughs> and then act so superior. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, that's just my dad. But, fucking, nothing's worse than a know-it-all that doesn't know shit. <laughs> this is the most annoying type of person to be around. Um, I disowned my aunt, and then my dad, at some point, he's just like, I'm having a barbecue, like a 4th of July barbecue or some shit, or, I don't know, it was something, he was just like, uh, you know, Aunt Kay's gonna be there, you gonna wanna come over, and I was just like, no, I'm, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm good, fuck that, I'm good, I'm not doing that, cause it's just not gonna go, it's not gonna end well. Uh, oh, but it gets worse. It gets worse, actually, because uh, my uncle just is racist, just as racist. So glad they're not actually my aunt and uncle. They're just people who were around me when I was younger and I associated as family members. That's all they are. They are nothing more than that. They are not blood to me. They are um, dumb. They're dumb to me. They are village people, mouth-breathing village people. Uh, my uncle Jay. <laughs> my uncle Jay. Cool racist guy. Uh, always had the best, coolest takes. Um, I'm out in Kentucky. I got some family out in butt fuck Kentucky. And butt fucky Kentucky. <laughs> out in butt fucky Kentucky. We butt fuck all of our residents out here in butt fucky Kentucky. Welcome to butt fucky Kentucky. Got Kentucky, got Kentucky fried, Kentucky fried butt fucky Kentucky chicken. Come to Kentucky for our butt fucky Kentucky chicken. <laughs> uh, see how they're not moving? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> Mountain Kentucky. I got, an, I got an aunt, an aunt, an actual aunt. My aunt T, who's awesome. Love my aunt T. And uh, she's got a boat. We're out on the lake. And um, we're all out there. And then my, uh, my Uncle Jay decides to... Um, <laughs> I don't know, uh, okay, for context, we're on the boat, I don't know, I'm like, what the fuck, I'm like 15 at the time, I'm like, I don't fucking know politics, 
uh, uh, left, right, fucking gay, straight. I don't know anything. I don't know what a politic is. Uh, I'm just literally out here. It, it, those were my vibes. I'm like, I'm out here, bro. I think what I think and I know what I know because I'm fifth fucking teen. Uh, and then my, uh... So, I'm out on the boat, I'm like 15, and f family members are talking about politics, I guess? They're talking about, like, the next president, and, um, I believe it was, uh, it had to have been the Trump and Hillary, uh, fucking, not debate, what was it? Just that time, 2016, just when that era, uh, of... The presidency was going on. Fuck. Sorry. I'm thinking way too much about this. Uh, and my uncle Jay, he, he, he gives his two cents, really cool two cents. Um, and like, they're all talking. I don't know the exact context, but like my uncle just is talking about, of course, how horrible Barack Obama was. Right. And then for whatever reason, he's like yapping, right? And then he turns to me. I'm not paying attention. I'm just like enjoying the boat. And he turns to me and he goes, uh, ba 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 Barack Obama. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't let a beep into the White House. And I was just like, what the fuck are you saying? I ain't even, I couldn't say. I knew, I was like, I know that's like, a bad word, like a real bad word, uh, but I just couldn't like process it at the time. I was just like, "What the, f what?" I was just like, "What are you, what are you even talking about?" I didn't even say anything though. I was just sitting there like, "Oh, okay." I was like, "Oh, interesting. Really?" He, oh, I did not know that. <laughs> I'd fucking I don't know. I was just, uh, man. Yeah, no. That's family members sometimes. Sometimes family members are fucking gay. They're fucking gay and dumb. Um. God damn. Talked about a lot. Talked about a lot today. Um. Talked about a lot of evil stuff today. God damn, have we talked about a lot of evil stuff. Uh, I said I was going to try and fill an hour. I still have roughly 20 minutes left Psh, fuck it i'm gonna go to another topic i have written down here what do we got here um so i've talked about a lot of evil things from other people but hey um your boy is also your boy also is a piece of shit as they say uh you yeah, know trying to be better um, I'm definitely an asshole. I have my moments. I don't know. I just fucking, I just love being honest sometimes. <laughs> uh, but you can't always be honest, you know? Sometimes it's just mean. Uh, there's context. There's moments. Uh, but I, I was definitely at my worst, uh, in high school. I'm gonna talk about a time in high school where I, I was basically bullying the fuck out of people. Um, what happened? I was a part of a Facebook page, a meme page, uh, uh, it was like a shit talking it was like a community of people who love shit talking and memes that was pretty much the premise and it was called like memes of the ages it was pretty fucking stupid uh i mean it was fun at the time but in retrospect just the fucking dumbest like waste of time to just piss people off come off as horrible people that you go to school with. It's just dumb. Uh, and I was a, I was a big asshole on there. And 
Uh, there was this girl who everyone knew. Uh, she had like a drug problem. And <laughs> I just had like a... Uh, I'm trying to remember if this was also around the same time that I like had a homie who was going through hard drugs and like maybe I, I was a, at the uh, like my excuse or whatever was just like at the time I thought my, 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 my mentality at the time was like anyone who does drugs is like a criminal or is just a, a piece of shit or some something like that basically it was just a bad I had a very horrible viewpoint <laughs> at seven like 17 18 like just fucking the dumbest way of thinking. I was such a fucking idiot. I still am, but I'm a little better. A little better. Um, and yeah, I'd fucking... What is it? Uh, There's this girl who had a drug problem, and I, like, was in the Facebook page just shitting on her. Because she... There was, like, a local record... A local, like, newspaper had picked up... Or had written a story... Uh, no, they didn't write a story. They just, no, oh, they did write a story. They, sorry, they did write a story because she, uh, was arrested for fucking something and then passed out, like, overdosed. I don't think she died. She just passed out on drugs, while on drugs. I don't know if that, if overdosing means dying. I thought overdosing meant, like, you just get so fucking high or drugged out that you just pass out. Um... And if that's the case, I've OD'd so many times. Oh, man, if I OD'd. Uh, but if not, then I don't fucking know. If it means you died, then that's not what I meant. But she passed out in a cop car, and I made, like, a post being like, ha ha, fucking dumb druggy bitch. I don't know what the fuck I said. I said something fucking just dumb and stupid, and uh, her, like, best, one of her, like, best friends was, like, yelling at me and I'm all in the comments like shut the fuck up like you don't fucking uh I don't know what the fuck I'm saying like <laughs> I'm like trying to convince her that her best friend is a criminal I think and like she's like that's my best friend like you don't know what she's been through and I'm like I don't give a shit I'm a piece of shit and I don't give a fuck get out of here fucking you f <laughs> I'm like I don't know just the worst type of fucking person. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, that's a sin, I guess. It's me confessing to a sin of my past. There you go. Now you, now you know me on a more personal level. Use that against me at all, at all costs. And I made fun of somebody on drugs. Um, Speaking of making fun of somebody on drugs, here's my impression of Steve-O if he was gay. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm here for the cock. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, whip it out. Yeah, I'm gonna... Man, yeah, I'm gonna suck that. Hey, man, I'm looking for some hard peen right now. Yeah, man. Yeah, I did. I just want some some fucking cock in my ass yeah i did i just want some cock in my ass so that's what i'm saying it's not gay you know some people are like oh it's scary to have a cock in your ass but it's not gay if you think about it you know the act because man ass is just it's just it works the same way as pussy <laughs> Man ass is just man pussy. Don't think of it as a man's ass. It's a man's pussy. <laughs> You're gay for thinking that it's a man's ass. I think it's a woman's pussy when I'm fucking a man's ass. <laughs> <coughs> uh, okay, uh, that's basically a fucking hour. All right. This is this has fucking been uh, evil stories with UMD. Let's see if this is good or not. Uh, thanks for listening. 
be sure to drop a damn like uh, and support capitalism. Support every stage of it. Support it in its lows and its highs and in every coup. All right. Signing off. Bye-bye.